Alright, incline plane. What angle plane would you like to deal with? 30. 30 degrees, thank you. And what mass of the box would you like to deal with? 10. 10. <laughs> Grams. Pounds. Ah, convert it. No. Uh, 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. In case. So first thing we do on a any force problem. Draw a free body diagram. What, what forces do we have? Normal. Okay, so now we've got our force diagram. What do we need to do with next? Components, we need to deal with components. Since not everything is pointing in the X and the Y, we need to find out how much of those forces are pointing in the X and the Y. So we find components of our forces. So what is the Y component of our gravitational force? Mg sine of theta, and our other component is mg cosine of that. So now we dealt with the components, and now what do we do? Plug them in to f equals ma. Now this question we haven't stated yet, but let's say that we're solving for the acceleration. What is the acceleration of this block down the plane? It's going to accelerate down, so we want to deal with what? The x or the y direction? Y. Down this way. So we're going to deal with the x direction. So we'll keep it red since we get the x. Sum of the forces in the x equals mass times acceleration. What forces do I have in the x direction? My, what are my red forces? Um, mg sine theta. Think of this not as, well I guess think of it. Think of it like the gravitational force pulling you down. Gravity pulls you mostly straight down. In fact it pulls you 100% straight down. But there's a small component that's pulling you down the plane. So mg times the sine theta, there's only one force, equals to mass times acceleration. Can anybody simplify that? Divide by m. Divide by m. Mass doesn't matter. Mass doesn't matter when we're dropping objects either. I drop a 10 pound ball and I drop a 1 pound ball, they're going to fall at the same rate. Gravity doesn't care. So on an incline, it's the same thing. The only force that's pulling is gravity. So why would it make any difference whether it's on an incline or in free fall? When we deal with friction, it's different. Friction, the mass does matter. But for frictionless planes, it doesn't matter. So we're left with g sine of theta equals the acceleration. g is 10. Sine of our angle 